Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, interviews another creator in regards to their journey thus far. Tonight, I have a special guest, and I'm going to go ahead and start the show by reading their bio and get them on the line so we can have a lovely conversation. Born and raised in Virginia, Baron Xanados is a Virginia Commonwealth University graduate with a background in criminal justice. His career journey has encompassed various roles ranging from retail store management to working as a private investigator. In addition to his professional pursuits, he dedicates time to being a part-time content creator. While game streaming serves as a primary hobby, Baron initially discovered the world of Twitch around nine years ago and is gradually expanding his presence to YouTube. Beyond streaming, he also nurtures interest in different realms of geekdom, including sci-fi, comics, and a touch of anime. To put it in Baron's words, he is just an elder millennial navigating his way in this digital space. Without further ado, I would like to introduce my guest for this evening, Baron. Welcome to the podcast. What's up? What's up? How's it going? <laughs> going good, man. How have you been? Not bad. Not bad. I can't complain. I mean, I could complain. That's, but... that's, <laughs> hey, that's just real easy to right. complain. But you know what? We try to keep it positive right. around here. <laughs> so, Baron, I got to know, you've been doing this ever since I've been doing it, like before I've been doing it. So I don't even know what your origin story looks like. So I'm dying to know what does, what got you into content creating? Well, through a friend of mine, actually, okay. he was, he told me, you know, there's this, there's this guy that, uh, live streams video games. And I looked at him and I was like, you can do that. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, yeah, there's this guy, he plays killer instinct. So he, uh, he was showing me a clip and I, I saw his content. It was, it was pretty entertaining. He's a pretty entertaining guy. I'm talking about, uh, the streamer, uh, CDN the third. Okay. Oh yeah. I remember him. That was the first person I ever followed on, on, on Twitch. Oh, wow. That's a yeah. huge streamer to be following off. Rip. Yeah. Well, <laughs> back then his numbers were not as big as they are now. So I've been oh. following him for a minute. That's awesome. I love yeah, that. Yeah. And so maybe right before the pandemic hit, I got the, uh, equipment. I said, I'm going to try this myself. Cause I, I dabbled in it before, but mm -hmm. I was uh, streaming straight off of the Xbox. Right, right. Which was cool, but I was like, I want to do, you know, all the stuff. Exactly. So, you know, <laughs> I got a, I got a webcam and, you know, a couple other things and I started doing it. And, uh, um, it's pretty fun. It, it actually got me back into gaming because it got to a point where I was kind of like not caring about gaming anymore. Mm -hmm. I hear you on that. But, but, but streaming has really got me back in, into it like I used to be. So that's cool. That is awesome. And so to segue from there, what is your current content look like when you think about like making content? What's your uh, mindset? What does your thought process look like? It's real basic. I just play the games and stream them. I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't do too, too much because, you know, I see these, I see these other streamers and they got all the bells and whistles. And I mean, that's cool. It, I, I, it's very entertaining. I love it, but. I'm like, you know, I only stream maybe once or twice a week for like a couple of hours each stream. I, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to do all that. I mean, I, I, I appreciate it. I think it's cool. Yeah. You know, the fact that I use a, a V2 program, I think that's it advanced enough for me. Hey, I was just, I wanted to ask you about this. So for, for those who don't know what VTubing is, can you explain a little bit about what that is and what that process looks like oh definitely definitely so vtube is like i guess to put it simply instead of your webcam showing yourself mm -hmm. you are using a separate program that puts like a digital avatar on the screen instead of your actual self so the program mimics your facial movements or you know slight body movements or whatever and translate that to the digital avatar that's that's awesome. And th yeah. how long have you been doing that for? Uh, most of the time that I've been streaming, I mean, I've just recently started dabbling with putting my actual face mm -hmm. up. But since I uh, since I made some some sweet upgrades to my computer, <laughs> <laughs> I can I can run the uh, 
the the program I use is Animaze. I can run that program. Now it's flawless. It doesn't stutter or lag or anything. Oh, like that's that. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I've been interested in dabbling in VTubing just because as a techie myself, like I just love technology and just the the things you can do with VTubing blows my mind. But then I looked into, I someone told me how much, like, let's say you wanted a fully customizable rig. That's like thousands of dollars. Yeah, you, I, and I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about the one where you got to wear like the mocap suit. Yeah. Like, I was like, look, I'm not making a Marvel movie. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> game streaming. I don't need to do all that. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, look, you don't need to do anything, man. Your, your setup is sweet. Like eventually I want to get the way your setup is. Hey man, I appreciate that. And you yeah. right. I don't need to do anything. I like, I love, I love my setup and I don't need to like change anything, but there's always like a bug in the back of my head, just like, hey, man, you know, it'd be dope. Some more LEDs in the back to change colors when the scene changes. <laughs> and I'm like, shut the fuck up. So, yeah, that's that's where my brain lives sometimes. So fortunately, like for you, you have like a dedicated room. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's, once once I get to the point where I have a dedicated room. Just, oh, then, then look, I'm talking about being simple now. Once I get to that step, oh, well, I'm going all out. Then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going all out. Yo, shout out to my wife for allowing me to have this space. Like, it was no question. It was like every time we look at new houses or like when we moved into this space, it was like, hey, this is your room. Create do whatever you need to do. And yeah, it helps a lot to like have a space that you know whenever you feel like streaming is going to look exactly the same as it did yeah. before. So yeah, I can't There's wait to do that. Man. That all of that that do that. You can put virtual backgrounds and all that, and that's all well and good. Nothing. It's like a real, you know, setup. It, it 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 makes it look cooler. Exactly. I agree. Speaking of which, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you mentioned, or I mentioned in your bio, that you categorize yourself as a part-time content creator. What would you say, I guess it's a two-fold question, what would you say constitutes a part-time content creator? And how do you approach your content with that in mind? Honestly, I don't know why I use that term. <laughs> <laughs> What, okay. What what I mean is I don't maybe because like a lot of the streamers in our our circles, mm -hmm. a lot of them are full time. Like this is their this is their career. They're trying to make a living out of this, trying to, you know, you know, make moves, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for that. Gotcha. So <laughs> you're not looking at this as a career move. No, this is a hobby. Gotcha. I do this strictly for fun. Yes. And I think it's very important for people to realize that early for like, just for themselves, for their sanity, be like, look, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this for a hobby. There's a lot of weight. You could just take off your shoulders about like worrying about your numbers and, oh, yeah. and shit like that. Fuck that. If you're just doing it as a hobby, have fun. I don't, I don't worry about numbers at all. Matter of fact, I, I worry about numbers so little when I'm streaming. I don't even have the list of people in my stream up. If you're here, you're here. Exactly. And you know what? There's sometimes, and you don't be, like you said, you don't know. There's like 50 people in your stream. And I'm like, what the fuck is Baron doing over there? And you just vibing out. You just doing what you do. And I love that shit. Well, we can. We can thank the world famous Leash Capiche for that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Shout out to Leash Capiche. Uh who's I got booked. I got finally got her. Not that she was like dodging me. I was like hesitant to ask her because she's busy as fuck. Like Yeah, she is. She is. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to sneak in. And if she says no, she's I'm cool. I'm cool with no's. But she graced me and she was like, Yeah, of course. Let me know I'm if you want to do it. That we stream together as much as we do. Um, I don't it's damn near every week, right? Almost. Wow. Sometimes I cut her a break. Like if I know she's been really busy or she got some stuff going on, I'll hit her mess. I'm like, look, we don't have to. Yeah. You know, you know, I mean, to to your point, like, yeah, those streams probably do bring you an audience. But to to toot your horn a little bit like you're entertaining and people like watching you and like being in your presence when you're doing your thing so it's not all leash like you gotta add a you know that's because i'm a menace 
I, this is true. <laughs> and that's just hilarious. <laughs> if, okay. For all those listening, if you want a stream to watch, we'll definitely shout out Baron stream at the end of the podcast, but go watch, I think it's Tuesdays, right? Or is it Wednesdays? When do y'all stream usually? It's, it's typically Tuesdays. Tuesdays, uh, I'm going to say 11 Eastern. I don't know if that's correct. It is. I, I tell people, I used to tell people it's nine ish. Yeah. But honestly, it, it depends on, it mostly depends on Alicia's schedule. So anywhere from between nine to 11 PM mm -hmm. Eastern, Eastern time on Tuesdays, we'll, we'll, we'll be streaming. Just go sit and just watch. You don't even need to interact with chat. Like I, I rarely interact with chat. And like that Baron says something out of pocket and nobody, nobody says anything. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers didn't hear that. <laughs> that shit is the, to me, that's just the best boss does it. Baron does it like say some sly shit under their breath and nobody react to it. I'm like, that's motherfucker. How the fuck? See, and you know, it's funny you bring up boss cause I watch boss stream and I always think to myself, I was like, boss and I can never be in a stream together. No, I know. <laughs> Yo, I thought the same thing. Cause I, I got, I, there's a stream that I want to put together and I was like, oh, that sucks. Cause need, I'm not having that. No. Mm -mm. Cause it's just going, I mean, you know, I'm wide open, but boss, golly. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boss loves to push the button. I, you know what? I'm going to make it happen. Wait, we'll play like party animals or some shit. Something that's wild and chaotic. That, I think that'd be fun. I love boss stuff. I love boss. Yeah. Boss is a homie. That's my, that's my guy. Like I, I to this day, I remember my first stream watching him. I was like, this dude's going somewhere. He just needs to lock down and, and hone what he wants to do. And it's a wrap for everybody. So I got, I got put on to him because of you. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. Like good. Cause when y'all do the, the, uh, fight night Fridays thing. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out yeah. fight night Fridays. I Chris Panda fossil versus yeah y'all got a good group y'all got a real good group yeah man you know it's uh it's one of my pillars of like being not only in content creation but in life is surrounding yourself with people that rock with you and you rock with them like like-minded people and those two are definitely in that camp like i love those yeah. dudes yeah um all right well you know what it's time you've been doing this for a while even if it's Part time, I would say you're a content creator that's not chasing the career path, and still the same like lessons apply. You might not have to worry about like the fucking numbers as much, but like the way you present yourself on the stream and like what you want to do, like you have to solidify. Like I'm streaming what I want, and that's it. If you don't like it, fucking I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> so words of advice. If someone came to you and was like, hey, Baron, I'm new and I'm trying to get into streaming. I love what you do. What type of advice would you have for me? Well, first of all, if they say they love what I do, I'll say you're a fucking liar. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. We got that out the way. <laughs> no, no, no. But seriously, though, no. I would just say, like I said, I'm real simple. If you if you're just getting into this. People say this over and over, but it can't be said enough. You, you, you're not going to be ninja overnight. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you're not going to be ninja overnight. You're probably not going to be ninja at all. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> these streamers that get put in the news and are hosting award shows and getting these million dollar deals or, or whatever. Look, I'm going to be real. Th they're an anomaly. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're an anomaly. Now, is it possible that you can get to a, a position where you can do this as a career? Sure. Mm -hmm. But don't think you you go be living high on the hog where it's like you you'll be able to make a living doing this, but you'll that's literally what you'll be doing, making a living. Mm -hmm. I would say if you first if you first getting into it, don't even worry about all that. Right. With just getting into it, you're just doing it for fun. You're just doing it for fun. The other thing I would say is be sure to protect yourself in these internet streets. <laughs> Cause even, even, a, even a, a, a streamer as small as I got swatted. Yes. Okay. Hey man, you've been dropping knowledge all night. Can you, uh, can you explain what swatted means? Swatting is basically you're online, somebody through various number of ways gets your 
location information. Mm-hmm. And what they'll do is they'll call the police and basically say some shit's going on at your address. And being the police, they have to respond. They come to your house, uh, sometimes weapons drawn. Sometimes another streamer told me they kicked down her door. Damn. Yeah. Because oh if God. they call and say, oh, somebody's at XYZ Street mm-hmm. and they got somebody held at gunpoint. Oh, the police are going to respond accordingly. Exactly. They they treat all those calls as if it's actually happened. So I was streaming with Leash. I heard a knock in my door. I opened the door. First thing I see is a riot shield in my Ooh, face. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Guns drawn. Yeah. That's uh, that's terrifying. Yeah. I mean, I just complied. They they look they look just as frightened as I was. Yeah, is that all you could do at that point? How long did it take to uh, resolve the issue from from when they bust from that bust down your door before they were like, "Hey man, some shit's going on here." Until they were like, "All right, we out." It was real quick. I mean, all they right. came and they were like, you know, they they put me in handcuffs, yeah. and they said we're doing this as they were cuffing me. One of the uh, uh, lady officer, she was explaining to me what was going on. She was like, look, we got a call that you, what did they say? We got a call that you killed your girlfriend. What the? F- and, and Yeah, and that you were about to kill yourself. Wow. And I said, <laughs> I said, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> and, and, so they were like, we just need to uh, check and make sure there are no bodies are in here or anything. I say, go right ahead. So, so th- yeah, so they went in and looked and like, I live in a small apartment, so it took them literally no time to look mm-hmm. and they, they came back and took the cuffs off me and there was a, a lieutenant with him and he explained what was going on and they all apologized. And I was like, don't need to apologize. I'm like, y'all didn't do anything, you know especially if stuff you hear on the news, it, right. it ain't like I opened the door and y'all immediately started beating me. Exactly. That's my fear. <laughs> right. They were professional about the whole, and I think part of that is, it's like at this point, most cops know they've probably been told by their superiors or whatever, like, look, y'all can't just be rolling up on people doing whatever. Cause it mm-hmm. was like, we're going to get sued. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like the block is hot. Motherfuckers. Y'all need to relax. Right. And, you know, you got some cops that are just going to do what they want anyway. But for the most part, like they were they were very professional. They were very they were polite. You know, that's good. Once, once they once it was clear, like nothing was going on. Oh, and this is another thing, too. They knew about the term swatting, too, because once oh, they good. found out. Yeah. Once they found out that, like, nothing was going on, one of the cops was like, yeah, it looks like we got a swatting situation here. Mm, all right, good. That's I'm glad they know that shit because it's uh, it still happens, which is fucking crazy to me. It does. And how how long ago was this? This was earlier this year, I think. Yeah, was I about to say was it like end of last year or January, February? Something like that. Might have been maybe March or April hmm. or something like that. But it was it was it was early in the year. Yeah, man, that's wild. Like. I'm sure I, I will do a podcast on this one day. I don't know the steps off the top of my head, but there are steps that you can take to like hide your location, hide your um, your address, make sure that you're keeping track of that shit. I've been doing some research into that for obvious reasons after the mm-hmm. fact, but uh, mm-hmm. well, from from what it looks like, is Twitch itself does a pretty good job of hiding your that type of information. Okay. I think they might have gotten it off of my console. Gotcha. If anything, but that's okay. I I, I fired the VPN back up, so Yeah. <laughs> I got it. I got I got it on my console. Right. That makes sense. And after it happened, I immediately went back to streaming. That's I was gonna ask you. And I was <laughs> like, so did you leave the stream up this whole time? Oh yeah, the stream was up the whole time. So like the police came, they were in the they were in the shot. Uh, police was yelling and screaming and all you know. It was... Oh, I love that. And this is wild. this is why I love love I love live streaming because you never know what random situation is about to happen. No, you do not. That you is not. dope. Well, Baron, the people want to look, find your content and dive more into what you do, what you bring to this world. Where can they find you at on this internet? 
on Twitch, it is Baron underscore Rufus underscore Xanatos. His That'll name be will up be in, a, in a description. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will be spelled out. Should, uh, should, should I tell the story behind that name? If you want to, one hundred percent, because I am dying to know. I, yeah, I figured you were. I yes. figured you. Were. All right. So, so this is how, this is how I came up with that name. So, the Xanatos comes from gargoyles. Okay. The primary antagonist for most of the series was a guy. His name was Xanatos. Gotcha. And so I got the name for that. So I took that and I was filling out a profile for something. And, you know, you had to make up a, I can't remember what it's been so long ago at this point, I was making up a name and I, I wanted to use Xanatos and I wanted to have a title on it. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, I was like, I can't use King. I was like, that's too pretentious. And that's, it gets used too much. I was like, what else can I use? Like what, what, what else sounds regal? And I said, oh, I know I'll be a Baron instead Hell of yeah. a King. I was like, I said Baron Xanatos. So I was using Baron Xanatos for, for different stuff for a while. And then I was like, well, I gotta have a first name. <laughs> And I said, you know what? I'll just go with Rufus. Rufus was the first name that blocked my <laughs> Why Rufus? <laughs> it's so good. Like you literally you just thought Rufus and that was it. It was good to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so perfect. All right. So I didn't realize this Baron was a regal boy. I don't know why that didn't click, but now that it did, yeah. The whole name Baron makes so much goddamn title. sense. Yeah. That yeah. makes oh, that is dope. God damn. Yeah. Well, yo, thank you for that exclusive. I mean, other people <laughs> probably know, but I didn't know, so I feel like it's exclusive. To I've me. only I've only mentioned it on Lee's stream. That's the only other time that I've I told the story or where, where it came from. Um, let me go ahead and get my call to action now. If you know anyone out there who is a creator who loves to hear conversations like these and more, share this podcast with them, upload it and unfiltered. It's on Google Podcasts, Apple Music Podcasts, a Spotify, of course, and like 14 other places. Just Google it. It'll come up. Upload it and unfiltered. And if you're subscribed, go ahead and leave me a, a, a review and, and some comments and let me know what you what you think. Baron, thank you again for doing this podcast. I'm glad we could finally nail this down and knock this out. Um, I appreciate you. Yes, thank you for having me. I, I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Other than that, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.